All right, I uh, got a request from a YouTube subscriber, Trent Ellen. Thank you for the request. Um, saw my yum yum hibachi white shrimp sauce and asked, um, could you show us how to make a hibachi plate too? Well, I got a good one for you, very popular one, chicken fried rice. Let's do it. You're gonna start by cooking your white rice. One very important thing to know when cooking the, the rice is make sure when you're done okay first of all don't lift open the lid keep the lid on while you're cooking rice you lift the lid you could ruin your rice rice has to stay with the lid on while it's cooking until the very end and only take the top if it still looks really wet and kind of bubbly keep the lid on it's not done you want your rice to be really fluffy if not you could end up with sticky clumpy fried rice which is not which happened to me a few times when I first started this. So make sure it's nice and fluffy when you fluff it with a fork afterwards. Um, and then I put it in the freezer, stirring it once in a while to make sure it um, didn't freeze up and it was evenly cooled off. It only took about 20 minutes in the freezer with the lid off. So just keep an eye on it. You want to make sure it's nice and cool. Um, Chinese rice uh, or hibachi rice, a uh, chicken fried rice, is actually uh, was a way to use leftover white rice. Um, so that's why you stick it in the fridge and get it ready. You can put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes or you can put it in the fridge for overnight. Chop onion and carrot equal part. Whisk your egg. I used one. Chop chicken, and you can use oil or butter to cook your chicken and vegetables. Start off by putting butter in a pan. If you're using a uh, regular stainless steel pan, make sure it's coated evenly. Since they're cut up small, they don't take long to cook at all. So once you don't see any more pink in the chicken, they're done. You take the chicken and you put it off to the side. You add some more butter to the pan to fry your carrots and onion until they are soft and translucent. If your onions are getting close to done and your carrots are still really firm, you can do what I do and you just cover them with the lid, steam them a little bit. I just used the lid that I had handy. Or I probably could have chopped the carrots a little smaller and it would have steamed little better but it'll work out and if the onions are starting to really get close to being done and you don't want to burn them move them off the heat and just let them sit with the lid on they'll finish steaming if it's an issue it might not be if you cut them small enough or you put the carrots in before you might not have a problem I just decided to put them in um, at the same time this time okay now my carrots are soft my onions are good and while there's heat in there, I'm going to take my egg that I beat up and I'm going to put that in there. The ingredients help scramble the eggs. Once your mixture is done, you're going to take this mixture and put it off to the side. I'm going to stick these in the fridge. Okay, I'm just peeling the uh, some of the loose um, I don't like that on my green onion. Now I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, now I'm going to take green onion and uh, chop it up into small pieces. This will be kind of, this will be the garnish at the end. Once you're done chopping these up, you're going to put them in a little container off to the side as well. This should be good enough for the small amount of rice that I have. All right, for this amount of rice, we're not going to use. Um, hello, we're not going to use too much oil. The more rice you use, the little more oil you use. But just want to make sure it's nicely coated. I don't know, it's about two tablespoons at best. We're going to let that heat up, and you're going to see it kind of get ripply. You'll know it's hot enough. We're going to test it with some rice in a second to see if it's hot enough. So we're adding the rice, really hot oil. It's uh, we're going to flip it. 
You want that rice to be really hot because if it's not, it'll just soak up into the rice and make the rice soggy. You don't have to flip it like I do. You can just take your spoon or spatula and give it a whirl. But I waited till the oil was ripply. And what I mean by that is when you look at the oil kind of at an angle, it doesn't look flat. It's got little ripples in it. So oil's nice and hot. And I tried it with a little, a piece or two of rice and saw it sizzle before I added the whole thing in there. So it didn't become sticky and clumpy. So you got this nice rice here. Um, once that becomes really good and fried, Okay, we're going to take our kinko mints. I don't know if I'm allowed to advertise, but uh, I'm using kinko mints. It's the best, I think. It's not soy sauce if it's not kinko mints. That's not the slogan. Or Anyway, you want to get this ready now, okay? Keep it nearby. You will see why. You could probably add... Now would be a good time. Kind of when it drizzle it over the top. You can either stir it. Or you can flip it. Okay, just a little more. I like kinky. Short for kinko mint. Alright, mine's an electric grill, so I'm gonna kill this burner. Alright, so we got that. I'm going to add my egg mixture. You could probably add it before you add the soy sauce. I don't think it matters too much. Make sure I get it evenly mixed into the rice is why I did it before. You got all your ingredients in there now. Your eggs, your chicken, your carrots, your onion. Okay. And to finish this off, now that it's all cooked and the heat's off, I'm going to put my onion in there. Mix it up. Guess what? You just made chicken fried rice, my friends. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Now we put it in our little cool, cute looking dish. Invite a friend over, surprise them. Make them think you ordered Chinese, but you didn't. You made it. And then you can be all gig giggly and happy about it. And, uh, there you have it, my friends. Um, chicken fried rice. Put some of that yummy, yummy sauce, the hibachi sauce on there if you like it on your rice. And uh, go to town. Have a great dinner. I garnished it with a few more green onions on top. And there you have it. Chicken fried rice. Now for the taste test. Mmm. Fresh. Good. Sweetness with the carrots. Onion, little egg in there, add as much as you want of anything. Um, the most important part is getting that rice cooked good. Mm. Very good. Share this. If uh, this excites you, if you, you like to make this stuff, if you like to go out and eat this stuff, now that you know how to make it, share with your friends. Um, so others can learn how to do something like this. Um, and kind of a gift. It's my gift to you. Now, now you give the gift to somebody else. Uh, thanks for watching Mike's Recipes. Take care.